Are you still on the fence about whether or not to get Luminar Neo? If so, this may be just the time for you to make your decision. Because the summer sale from Skylum has just started and the best prices on Luminar Neo are currently available. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor and I teach beginning and intermediate photographers like you how to improve their photography from capturing the camera all the way through to the end of the editing process and including Luminar Neo. If you're still not sure, let me show you a few of the things inside Luminar Neo that you can't do with some of the other versions and see if I can help you make up your mind. These are all my images that I also provide for my Luminar Neo course. So if you do decide to take the leap and purchase Luminar Neo, you might want to consider getting my course as well. The first thing I want to talk about is that you can now apply tools more than once. So even though there isn't currently a dodge and burn tool and many people are waiting for that, I have a great workaround for that and that is to apply the develop tool more than once. That's what I've done with this image here. So you can see how it's really pulling out the highlights and the shadows of this watch nicely. Just to show you how that works, in the edit panel, your history is now in a panel called edits and you can see that I've applied the develop tool where I've done the dodging and burning multiple times. That's how it works. This before and after is going to show you a few things that Luminar Neo does really well. Take a look at the before image. You'll notice some dust spots in the sky from dirt on my sensor, the poles and the power lines going through the image, and the plain and boring sky. Now look at the after image. I've cleaned up the dust spots and the power lines with a single click each using the new AI technology. The sky's been replaced, which you could do in previous versions of Luminar, but I've also added the hot air balloon as a layer as well as the reflection of the balloon. So that's something you couldn't do previously in Luminar AI. You could add the balloon as a sky augmentation element, but not into the water as a reflection. The tools that I use to do that are the erase tool. You could see that the dust spots and the power lines have been removed. You could see what that's done. Then of course I did a sky replacement, which handles the reflections in the water as did previous versions of Luminar and some other enhancements. Over on the left, this is where you'll see the layers. So one balloon, two balloons. Definitely something that you could not do with Luminar AI. Let's look at another example. With this image, you can see that I've used layers again. I've used a texture overlay. I'll hide it, show you what that's doing. And I've also used an edge image. So you can see that it looks like film. When I turn it off, look at the edges of the image and it's just a PNG or file overlay applying to give it this look. Again, something you couldn't do with Luminar AI, you could do with Luminar 4 because of the layers. With Luminar Neo, it gives you the best of both worlds because you have all of the AI technology that's in Luminar AI I, as well as the layers back from Luminar 4 that everybody was missing. I've got one last image to show you. This is another fun way of using layers. I've created a series of bokeh overlays and I applied one to this image because I thought it worked well with the already existing bokeh. To finish this image up, I might use a tool that you'd be familiar with if you have an older version of Luminar and add a LUT using the mood tool. I'm going to try Odessa because I know it's a warm one and that adds a nice look here. One of the other exciting tools that have just been added to Luminar Neo is the AI masking. You'll notice under the masking tools now, along with the brush, the radial and the linear gradients, there's mask AI. When you click it, you see this little animation and it analyzes your image to figure out what kinds of elements are in the image. You can see that I can now mask based on human, and it does a really good job of selecting her, including the flyaway hair. So the mask AI is another powerful tool that you wouldn't have in previous versions of Luminar. Overall, adding in the fact that you can apply tools multiple times, 
You can add layers and add multiple layers. It can even work with PNGs and transparency, which is what the balloon image is. You can add textures and edges as layers. And you can add things like bokeh and use the masking AI and the relight AI, which is another tool I didn't even mention. The relight AI allows you to selectively light the subject in the background independently. So if I want to brighten her up and darken the background, it uses that same masking technology to find the subject and apply this. So see how well that works to really highlight the subject. So if after having a look at some of the things that Luminar Neo can do and the new tools, if you're convinced that it's right for you, this is the perfect time to use this Skylum summer sale and pay the best price available on Luminar Neo. If you are a brand new Skylum customer, one seat with Luminar Neo during the sale will cost you only $64 US. That's a one-time purchase, no subscription. If you are an existing Skylum customer, meaning you've purchased anything from them previously and you already have an account, then one seat with Luminar Neo will cost you just $49. This is an outstanding price. So again, if you are on the fence and you're leaning towards Luminar Neo and you're still not sure, now's the time to make the leap because on top of being the best prices ever, they still have the 30 day money back guarantee. The only thing that hasn't been delivered that was promised with Luminar Neo is the background replacement. And we think that it's coming soon. So chances are that if you buy it now, it's going to come with the next major upgrade and you'll be good to go and you've saved yourself a ton of money. So I hope this video has been helpful for you learning about whether or not Luminar Neo is the right product for you. If you want to see more tips and tricks with Luminar, click one of the videos on the screen now. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss anything new. Take care and happy photo editing.